Hi everybody, John from Knight and Shining Armor Paint Correction and Detailing here. Today we have a 50 wash durability shootout test between a bunch of products, which includes Tax Systems Shiny Wax, Tax Systems Aqua Waterless, Tax Systems Quartz Max, Tax Systems Moonlight, Adams Polishes CS3. Adams Polishes Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating, Adams Polishes Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating Advanced, and McKees 37365 Ceramic Spray Coating. So let's not waste any time. Let's get on to the test. And like anything else, we're going to do a clay, a decon, a one-step to make sure everything is clean. Make this a legitimate test. Do not condone or recommend trying to polish with one hand. The deck lid or test panel here sat a little bit better on two trash cans than it did on a stand. We're going to speed up the video here so it's not a 40 minute video and we do complete over 50 washes in this test. I believe the exact count was 54. So let's get to masking up and getting the test panel ready. And of course we're going to be using Fireballs Reborn as a panel prep. We're going to apply two coats of everything, or two layers. We are going to allow it to cure for a minimum of 48 hours to ensure that the products we are going to test their durability are fully cured. This test is not about gloss or meter readings or anything like that. That's been well documented how great or not great all of these products are or aren't. This is strictly about seeing if it would last 50 washes or more. And if they didn't, when they would fail.
they're going to go ahead and peel off some of the masking tape here see if there's a jetting effect from the topper or the coating that has been applied see how much it did enrich so you can use it as a test line as we're doing this 50 wash plus test Everything looks good. We're going to document the date and time right here that everything was applied. And now we're back. As so we get through the first couple washes here, see everything is beating well and the soap that we are using is fireball shampoo pearl we weren't trying to use a strip wash to see how fast we could strip them we wanted to see how long it took with a pH neutral soap to get anything to fail And almost right away after six washes, the shiny wax went from beading to sheeting. And the Tack Moonlight did that after 11 to 12 washes it started to sheet. And the Adams CS3 started to sheet after 12 to 14 washes and the McKees 365 started to do a full sheet effect after 12 to 13 washes As we start to near 19 to 20 washes, we're starting to notice that the McKees 365 is really starting to sheet or almost, it almost looks like it's starting to fail.
and the Adams Graphene Ceramic Spray Advanced started to do a little bit more sheeting action as we start to near 25 washes. And the Aqua Waterless and the Quartz Max did the same thing. And it looks like shiny wax is still hanging on here a little bit, which is very impressive for a spray wax. So you start to get upwards of 30 washes here plus. And now that we're at 30 washes plus, I think we can safely say the McKees 365 has failed. I think the Moonlight has failed as well. as well as the Adams CS3, it started to fail right around 25 washes. Starting to near the home stretch here of the wash test. And what's really impressive here, the Aqua Waterless and the Quartz Max for a topper. They're really hanging on strong, which is very, very, very impressive. Both the Adams Graphene Ceramic Sprays are hanging on nicely. And if my wash total count was correct in calculating all this, I did a total of 54 washes on this panel. Going to bring you in close here and let you see how it looks. See if you see anything left of a jetting effect. See how it beads or sheets. See if you can tell if there's any protection left or not. You can still see there's some protection here being left over from the shiny wax, the aqua waterless, as well as the quartz max. Very impressive. Maybe just a smidge from the moonlight. The CS3 looks like it's totally gone. Both the Adams Graphene Ceramic Sprays are hanging on nicely. And the McKees looks like it's completely failed. Thanks everybody for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully this helps you make a choice. John from Night and Shining Armor Paint Correction and Detailing here. We will see you in the next video. And if you like these videos, please touch the like button. Please hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of future videos. Thanks everybody.